In this very short video, I'll explain the simple difference between relative and absolute risk by looking at how a specific risk factor, obesity, is associated with increased risk of a specific disease, colorectal cancer. Now, although the numbers I'm going to use are illustrative, they are roughly based on real data. So we're going to compare non-obese and obese people. So first of all, we note that two out of every 100 non-obese people dies from colon cancer. So it's quite a common cause of death. So we say that the absolute risk of a non-obese person dying from colon cancer is 2%, probability of 0.02. Now among obese people, three out of 100 die of colon cancer. So the absolute risk is 3%. Now although we cannot say obesity causes colon cancer, we can say that obese people have an increased risk of colon cancer. Now as 3% is 50% greater than 2%, the relative risk increase of dying from colon cancer for obese people is 50%. And formally, we define therefore the relative risk is the percentage of people who die from colon cancer divided by the percentage of non-obese who die from colon cancer minus one times 100%. And there we see it applied in this case. But of course, the absolute risk increase is only 1% because 1% more obese people than non-obese people die from colorectal cancer. And formally, absolute risk is simply the percentage of obese people who die from colorectal cancer minus the percentage of non-obese people who die from colorectal cancer. Now, a 1% absolute risk increase sounds a lot less concerning than a 50% increase if you're obese. So if all you're told is that the risk increase is X percent, you really need to know if this is the absolute risk or relative risk. Major difference. Thank you.